Elizabeth Tew uses Kate Middleton to snub Meghan Markle and Harry, appalled by the announcement of the withdrawal of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle from the British royal family, Elizabeth II took advantage of Kate Middleton's birthday to show him more marked support than ever, a subliminal tackle to the Duchess of Sussex. His big day was almost completely overshadowed by the statements of Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle. This Thursday, January the 9th, the day after the thunderbolt caused by the announcement of the retirement of the royal life, of the couple from Sussex. Kate Middleton celebrated her 38th birthday. A day of celebration finally passed in the background of the news because of the timing chosen by the parents of little Archie, but that Queen Elizabeth still wanted to mark with an exceptional message used to send a few lines of congratulations to the person whose birthday it is. The monarch generally accompanies his letter with a photo of the recipient this time she opted for a more personal gesture through the official royal family twitter account elizabeth too published the following words this thursday i wish the duchess of cambridge a happy birthday to which she has added three photos on which she and kate pose or exchange together. In these unexpected shots, Prince William's grandmother also insisted that a link to Kate's official profile and to the list of the charities with which she's engaged be inserted in the tweet. Little eloquent attentions which imply much. Far from being trivial, the tweet in question allows the Queen to remind her subjects that unlike Meghan Markle, Kate is in his eyes as a worthy member of the royal family. He also recalls that at a time when the Sussexes announced that they wanted to found their own charitable structure, Kate, for her part, was already working in a very beautiful way through royal structures. The Queen's tweet tends to further reinforce the credibility of the information according to which she very badly lived the announcement of the departure of her grandson and Meghan Markle. The tabloid press indeed ensures that the monarch learned of this important decision through the television news. The Queen, who is not consulted before the publication of the press release, but rather injured by certain actions of Harry, said a royal source for Vanity Fair magazine. In the aftermath of this disillusionment, the royal correspondent for the Daily Mail, Rebecca English, announced that Elizabeth II made the decision to organize crisis meeting with the members of the royal family to try to find a solution that tarnishes the image of the crown as little as possible. A golden opportunity for Kate and William.